welcome back. Day two of our trip to the Holy Land brought us to the Sea of Galilee. And that means a boat ride on the lake where Jesus walked. This is the famous lake in northern Israel, 13 miles long and... Eight miles wide from south to north, east to west, eight miles wide. And if I'm, if I'm pointing in my direction to the north and the western shores of the Sea of Galilee, where so much takes place in terms of Jesus and his apostles, the calling of the apostles, uh, the feeding of the hungry hearts of humanity here in the area of the Sea of Galilee. It is worth a visit. Our tour group from Pelham, Alabama had the entire boat to themselves. It's similar to one that Jesus may have ridden in 2,000 years ago, and it brought out the child in everyone. As you can't help but sing and laugh and pray about being on the lake where Jesus walked. And it also meant you needed to open the Bible and relive the story just one more time. Around three in the morning, he came toward them walking on the sea. He wanted to pass them. When they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. For they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately, he spoke with them and said, Have courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. This boat ride is so emotional for anybody visiting the Holy Land. I, I just think how grateful I am to be in this land. And to be out on this water today and think. I, I was praying a minute ago and I thought, Lord, the mountains, the lay of the mountains don't change. And I was thinking, did you look at those mountains? Did your eyes, your physical eyes behold the shapes I'm seeing now was when you were here? It's just phenomenal. I've seen these pictures in my Bible as a child. I never dreamed that I would get to be here and worship like this on a boat on the Sea of Galilee where Jesus walked, where he calmed the waters. It just, it's just overwhelming to me and, and I'm, I'm so blessed to be here. I'm kind of speechless. It's, uh, compared to where I was and where I was in my walk, just to be here and be able to see everything that we're seeing now. The boat ride lasts for an hour, but finally you have to head back to the land. But you never forget, for the rest of your life, riding on the lake where Jesus walked.